Let's all stand and worship the Lord. Yeah. Let's give God a hand. Such a joy to see all your faces. It's amazing, right? The joy of the Lord is in the house of the Lord, right? And that's why David said, it's better to be in the house of the Lord than thousand years in Naigam. <laughs> right? Thousand years elsewhere. Wow, it's beautiful. Thank you for just coming there today to church. Just, it's just awesome to see the faces, right? They all are such beautiful. By the way, everybody has a beautiful face, right? Everybody are amazing. Okay, let's pray. Father, we just thank you. We worship the Lord today. Lord, we thank you for this church. Thank you for your goodness, your love, your mercy towards us. And Lord, give us a beautiful, beautiful service. And I us singers send a message. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
Today we do cry, Hosanna, God, because you are the one who saves. You are the one who delivers, God. You are the one, God, who rescues us. And once again, Lord, we look back and we say, God, thank you. We worship you, Lord, as we continue to worship, Lord. Tune our hearts, God. Help us to look towards heaven, to look towards the one who saves. The one who is the same yesterday, today, and forever. We worship you, Lord. We look into your beautiful face, Jesus. The lamb that was slain for us.
on holy ground, God. Not because of our righteousness, God, but because of your righteousness alone, God. Thank you for your blood. And as we celebrate this week, Lord, we are eternally grateful, Lord, for that blood that made us righteous. We can stand in the presence of a holy God on even ground, Lord, all of us sinners saved by grace, God. And here we stand before a holy God and we see your nail-pierced hands, God. And Lord, we fall down and worship and we say thank you, Father. Thank you for the sacrifice of your son. Thank you, Jesus, for that sacrifice that you made for me. Thank you for your love. Thank you for righteousness that we can say, I am righteous, I am holy because of the blood, because of the cross. We thank you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. service today first. Okay, is that good? Okay, so let's all stand and turn your Bibles to Daniel chapter 9. How many of you know where is Daniel doing right now? Where is he? In the Bible. He is in heaven. So you're not reading the Bible then? Daniel, Daniel, the book of Daniel. Daniel ka Okay, it says uh, 70 weeks are determined for your people and for your holy city to finish the transgression to make an end of sins to make reconciliation for iniquity and to bring in everlasting righteousness to seal up vision and prophecy and to anoint the most holy now therefore and understand that from the going forth of the command to the restoration of the building of Jerusalem until the Messiah, the Prince, there shall be seven weeks and sixty-two weeks, and the street shall be built again on the wall, even in the troublesome times. The Hindi people can read by yourself, is it okay? Okay, read it just read. Zechariah chapter 9, 9. <laughs> सप्ताह ठहराए गए हैं कि उनके अंत तक अपराध का होना बंद हो और पापों का अंत और अधर्म का प्रायश्चित किया जाए और युगयुग की धार्मिकता प्रकट हो और दर्शन की बात पर और भविष्यवाणी पर छाप दी जाए और पवन परम पवित्र का अभिषेक किया जाए इसलिए यह यह जान और समझ ले कि यहुआ को फिर बसाने की आज्ञा के निकलने से लेकर अभिषेक प्रदान के समय तक सात सप्ताह बीतेंगे फिर पासठ सप्ताहों के बीतने पर चौक और खाई समेत वह नगर Okay, Zechariah chapter 9, verse 9. Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout, O daughter of Jerusalem. Behold, your king is coming to you. He is just a, having a salvation, lowly and riding on a donkey, or cold, the fall of the donkey. Zechariah, no, no. He is even both him, Magan, who he is Yerushalim, JJ, because he is a king, he is a king, he is a king, he is uh, paya hua hai, wa din hai, aur gadeh gade par varan, gadeh ke bachche par chada hua hai ka. 
Okay, and then Luke chapter 19. Okay, keep your Bibles open there and we will go through in the message. Okay. Okay, let's pray. Father, we just thank you for this beautiful morning. Continue to bless us and give us a beautiful message. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You can be seated. Okay, just quick uh, announcements before we go into the message. Okay, remember this week is Good Friday. What is this coming week? Okay, Easter. Okay, Good Friday and Easter. Okay, this Good Friday we are having a praise march in Malad. On Good Friday we praise march in Malad. Okay, for all the churches. Okay, it's going to be 5:30. I will send you the address on WhatsApp. Okay. By that day, the praise march begins. Okay. okay, we also have some more tracks left. Okay, we had a wonderful outreach last two weeks. Okay, it's with Avinash. Avinash, raise your hand. Okay. okay, so if you want, take them this week and then distribute them. Okay, can you do that? Okay, how many want to do that? Okay, to your neighbors, your friends, and invite them for the Easter service. Okay, so next Sunday the service will be at 10 30. Okay, turn to your neighbor and say it's 10 30 next Sunday. It's the Easter service, no class next Sunday. Okay, 10 30. Just small changes. Okay, and uh, also, okay, just uh, quickly, we also have in our midst Jacob. Jacob, can you just shake your hands? Give him a big hand. Okay. Okay. Great address welcome. I think that's not the welcome. Okay. That's joy, God, God. okay, just for your information for many of you. Okay, Sojal and Jacob are going to get married soon. Oh, so yes, give them a hand. First they're going to have oh they are engaged. Okay. Okay, they're engaged. Yes. Okay, we will pray for them and give a blessing today, end of the service, okay? And also she has some, she's going to celebrate her birthday with us today. Okay, so we will also sing for her. Okay, and also she has bought a lunch packets for everybody. Okay, is that good? Okay, some of you are already thinking what's in the lunch. Okay, well, don't worry. Okay, let's focus on service into the message today. Okay, so that's awesome. Great to have Jacob, right? All the way. By the way, one more one more thing is tonight me and Ajay. You know Ajay? I'm taking him to be martyred in Kashmir. Okay, me, Ajay, and Pastor Jomi from Baltimore also is joining us in Kashmir. Give God a hand for that. Okay. Okay, so myself, Ajay and Pastor Jomi will be traveling tonight. Okay. Okay, let's keep us in prayer. We'll be there till Thursday. Okay. Okay, and it's going to be an awesome, awesome trip. Okay, we're going to do a conference in Kashmir. Okay, and then we will launch a lot of travel. Okay, pray for us, keep our backs. Okay, also in prayer. Okay, we'll be traveling a lot. And it's, it's four degree there. Okay, cold. Okay, so just pray for us. Yes. Two? Yeah, it's two. My God. Okay, it's two degree. Okay, so it's quite cold. Okay, so just keep us in prayer. Maybe after the service, I will ask a couple of ladies to come up here and pray for us. Can you do that? Okay, I will tell, I will think about who are those ladies. Okay, well, let's let's think about the message. Okay, today being the Palm Sunday, anybody knows about Palm Sunday? Okay, Palm Sunday comes some kind of idea. Okay, good to see also the Kaveri family, right? It's amazing. So today is being a Palm Sunday, we will talk about the significance, the prophecy behind it, and what is that Palm Sunday for me. Is that a good theme today? Okay, because this means a lot to all of us, because 2000 years back, on this very week, on this very Sunday, Jesus walked into Jerusalem. And he presented himself to the nation of Israel. That I am the Messiah, that you are long awaited Messiah. And some people, they shouted, Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. And some, some people said, why they are shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. But Jesus, when he walked on this earth 2000 years back, Jesus was a 
walking miracle. Not only that, as he is walking, every step he was fulfilling the prophecies. Do you know as a Bible college student or you are in a church, do you know that 333 prophecies are fulfilled only in the Gospels when Jesus entered the earth. Okay, this is very important, right? So let's think about it today. Okay, this week we had an amazing class on Pentateuch. We spoke about the Passover. Okay, but before going there, I wanted to think about Luke chapter 19. Okay, I'll once in a while sit down. Okay, this is at 5. Okay, don't be offended. Okay, okay but listen. Luke chapter 19. Luke on this. Okay. Here is Jesus enters into Jerusalem on a colt. Okay. By the way, when he had, it says when he had said this, he went on ahead going to Jerusalem. And it came to pass, verse 28 and 29, and pass near Bethphage and Bethany at the mountain called Olivet, saying, Go into the village opposite you. He told his disciples to go to the village. And let's make it simple for you guys. Like the disciples have no idea what Jesus was doing. He says, go to a village. There you will find a colt. Just open it. And just bring it. Imagine these guys are thinking, those guys will beat us up, right? But Jesus also knew their thoughts. And Jesus said, if they ask why you need this call, tell the master needs it. And that's beautiful thought, right? Pastor Shalom spoke about this recently in the Eurocon conference. Like I was thinking about Christ and his life. Okay, Jesus lived a borrowed life. Okay, he, he knew something amazing about himself. That he doesn't belong to this earth, but he belongs to heaven. He had a borrowed donkey for one day to ride on the Jerusalem. He borrowed a cross from Barabbas, who was supposed to go on the cross. He borrowed Peter's boat to preach one day. And then finally, he also borrowed a tomb only for three days. Hallelujah for that. Jesus knew who he was. Jesus also knew that he doesn't belong to this earth. When we become believers, we also want to live that way, right? We don't want to be settlers on this earth. We want to be pilgrims as we pass by. And Jesus says to the disciples, go guys, go get it. And as they bought that cold and and many many followers just put the put the cloth on the, on the uh, uh, cloths and they put whatever that came on they put it on the cold. By the way, sitting on the cold and riding itself a miracle. Normally a donkey is tamed. Normally a donkey a big. Or bade gadi ko jo lete the. That is tamed, you can sit on it. But cold is a baby dog. Like God, Jesus sat on it, he was saying that I am the I am the, the king of the universe. And as he was coming, they were shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna. They were saying, Here is here is the king of the Jews, he is the Messiah, he is the Messiah. And I like that thought, right? I like that thought where Jesus is walking, just coming on that. Cold. And then I wanted to see a few things in this passage today. Okay, I want to see three things in this passage. Or three groups or three situations. Okay, number one, there were Pharisees in this place. Okay, what is their problem? Okay, if you look at in, in Luke chapter 19 in the same verse, verse 39, and they said, and some of the Pharisees called to him from the crowd, teacher, rebuke your disciples. Did he ever, it is familiar? Okay, sometimes we say, right, you are not, my, my, my children say, you are not correcting my daughter or your, my sister, like, raise her Lord. Rezal says, you're not correcting my 
उनका जो ये राज्य होगा परमेश्वर का इफ यू हैव थॉट अबाउट दिस वर्स क्या आपने कभी सोचा है आई वांट यू टू गो होम एंड मेडिटेट अपॉन दिस मैं चाहता हूं आप इस पर मनन करो रिमेंबर द पीपल हु आर शाउटिंग होजाना 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 यू नो व्हाट दिस पीपल और लोग जो गा रहे थे होजाना होजाना कौन है आई बिलीव दिस पीपल वर द ब्लाइंड पीपल हु जस्ट गॉट हियर और हो सकता है ये जो अंधे लोग हैं जो जिनको चंगाई मिली वे जीसस सेड यू नो व्हाट गो Go to pool of Siloam and wash your eyes, and you will be healed. Yeshu ne kaha, us salaam mein jaakar naha ho aur apko aakhi mein jaye. That man had simple faith, and he walked to the pool of Siloam and washed his eyes, and then he got healed. Uska sadaran vishwas tha, lekin usne usse changai mein jaye. No, it could be it could be blind Bartimius. Aur wo andha Bartimius ho sakta. It could be like I don't know who is that, but he healed me. I could see now. I was blind, now I can see. Main andha tha, abhi dekhne laga. And that is the crowd who was shouting Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. And he, who beat the, who chilled the. I believe in that crowd was also a righteous woman in John chapter eight. And we be chilled three be okay. Where Jesus said, "Whoever is not sin, throw the first stone." And everybody left the stones and walked away. And Jesus said to that woman. Neither I condemn you. You also walk away. जब यीशु ने कहा कि जो निष्पापी वो पहला पत्थर उठाए और उसे जाने दिया उस त्रिभुवन. And then she was in that crowd and she's shouting Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. और वो भी चिल्ला रही होगी Hosanna, Hosanna. I believe in that crowd is also the proud Zacchaeus. और Zacchaeus भी होगा जो घमंडी था. And he was very proud, right? He had lot of money, so he was proud. उसके पास बहुत पैसा था इसलिए घमंडी था. But Jesus came into his room and he did a, he did a some kind of counseling, I believe. लेकिन यीशु ने उसे जो कुछ काउंसलिंग की होगी. And then he came out and he gave everything three times what he robbed from people. और उसने तीन गुना दिया जो उसने चोरी की. And I believe Zacchaeus was there at the crowd and shouting Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. और Zacchaeus हो सकते हैं वहाँ पे वो चिल्लाकर. I also believe that woman, the Samaritan woman, was there too. और वो सामने स्त्री भी हो सकती. She had five husbands. उसके पास पांच पति थे. And then she meets Jesus Christ. और फिर वो यीशु से मिलती. And Jesus heals her. और यीशु चंदाई देता है उसे. Is that beautiful? Five husbands couldn't satisfy her. Or five pati jo hai usse santush. Now what is the problem? I actually I was preparing a message on that. Or me us pas sandesh mana raha tha. And then I changed my message this morning, this week. Or ye hafte mein nahi sandesh padta. Because it's a it's a Palm Sunday. Kyunki wo Palm Sunday hai. No, what is the problem with the Samaritan woman? Or uska kya pareshani thi? A problem was unforgiveness. Or shama nahi karne ka. That's her problem. Wo uska pareshani thi. Like why would like she couldn't forgive any husband of us? और वो अपने पति को जो है शमानी कर पा रही थी. Like for unforgiveness is a dangerous sin a believer could commit. और शमानी करना वो एक बड़ा पाप है जो विश्वासी कर सकता है. It's amazing. And Jesus came and forgave her. और यीशु ने आकर उसे चंगाई दी. And that's amazing. But think about it. Who else would be there? और कौन था? I don't know. I believe the leper was there. वो सकता है कोड़ी होगा द मैथ्यू चैप्टर 8 द लेपर राइट मत्ती आठ में जो कोड़ी था लाइक रिमेंबर ही केम इनटू दैट क्राउड व्हेन जीसस वाज वो उस भीड़ में आ जाए रिमेंबर इन दोस डेज लेपर्स कांट जस्ट वॉक इन एनीवे और कोड़ी कहीं भी नहीं जा सकते व्हेन ही वुड कम इनटू द क्राउड ही वुड शे ही शुड शाउट अनक्लीन 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 जब वो भीड़ में आते थे उन्हें चिल्लाना होता था अशुद्ध अनक्लीन अनक्लीन एंड ही वुड रन इनटू दैट रूम और वो रूम में भागे एंड देयर इज जीसस और वहां पर यीशु एंड जीसस इंस्टेड ऑफ जस्ट सेइंग You will be healed. He goes and touches him. And Yeshu, he can say that you will be healed. The Jews believe you touch a leper, you become unclean. And when you touch a leper, you become unclean. And when you touch a leper, you become unclean. And when you touch a leper, you become unclean. And when you touch a leper, you become unclean. And when you touch a leper, you become unclean. And when you touch a leper, you become unclean. And when you touch a leper, you become unclean. And when you touch a leper, you become unclean. And when you touch a leper, you become unclean. And when you touch a leper, you become unclean. And when you touch a leper, you become unclean. And when you touch a leper, you become unclean. And when you touch a leper, you become unclean. And when you touch a leper, you become unclean. And when you touch a leper, you become unclean. And when you touch a leper, you चिल्ला देते हैं उजाना उजाना। Now I was thinking about that verse in Matthew. Blessed are the poor, right? Who who are the people who shout Hosanna? Who are the people who will be ruling in the coming kingdom? Where simple men and women who had simple faith in Jesus Christ. और कौन है जो राज करेगा? वो जो यदीन है जो आत्मा में। Who are saying yes to God? जो हम परमेश्वर को। In Matthew chapter twenty two, Jesus sent out and said, you know what? Go to my house and bring people for the banquet. यीशु ने कहा जाकर बाहर जाओ और मेरे घर ले आओ। But they said, like some said, they were busy. Some said they were married. Some said they were working. Some said they bought a new bullet and they need to take care of it. And there are many reasons, right? और उनके पास बहुत सारे कारण थे नहीं आने के। Not bullet or bullock, whatever that is. Okay, when they were busy. वो अभी सी। What did Jesus say to them? यीशु ने क्या कहा? Go to the highways and byways. और आप गलियों में जाओ। And get them to my bank. और उनको यहाँ पर लाओ दावत के लिए। That's beautiful, right? Poor in spirit. Will be the kingdom of God. आत्मा में जो दिन है उनका राज्य होगा 
Jesus came to his own, right? Yeshu unke liye aaya. It's not like Jesus hated the Jews. Aur ye nahi ki Yeshu nafrat karta tha Yehudi. Jesus came to his own. Yeshu masi apno ke liye aaya. But his own rejected. Lekin uske apno ne jo hai usse thoda tukra. Because they didn't have simple faith obedience. Kyunki unke paas jo vishwas nahi tha. They always believe they have to do something to achieve salvation. उन्हें यही लगता था कि उन्हें कुछ करना है उधर दे थॉट दे नीड टू हैव अ सरनेम ऑफ अब्राहम टू बिलीव इन जीसस को लगता था शायद अब्राहम का सरनेम होना चाहिए दे थॉट दे नीड टू कीप ऑल द लॉस टू बी सेव्ड उन्हें लगता था उन्हें नियम रखना है बट जीसस सेड दाउ शैल बी सेव्ड ओनली बाय बिलीविंग इन लेकिन यीशु ने कहा आपको जो उधर की जरूरत है एंड फाइनली और आखिर में ओके जीसस सेड समथिंग इन दिस पैसेज यीशु ने कुछ अद्भुत कहा एट द थर्ड थिंग आई वांट टू सी टुडे और तीसरी चीज जो मैं बता रहा हूं व्हाट वन इट सेज जीसस वेप्ट और जो वचन कहता है यीशु रोया डस जीसस वीप क्या यीशु रोता है वेट फॉर वन मिनट डस जीसस वीप क्या यीशु रोता है ही वीप्स हां ही वीप्स एट द लॉस टू से आई डोंट वांट जीसस वो कोई वो के लिए रोता है जो कहते हैं मुझे यीशु नहीं चाहिए He weeps. 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 What is Jesus talking about? Yeshu kya keh raha hai? I want to bring out a very important prophecy. Maybe you heard from me before preaching that. Aur ho sakta hai apne suna hoga pehle. Remember in the Old Testament, purane niyam mein. Okay, God, the Jews used to celebrate a festival called Passover. Yehudi jo hai Passover jo tyohar manate hain. Okay, that's normally celebrated during this time. Wo ye samay mein hota tha Passover. Okay, the Jewish calendar the month of Nisan. निशान के महीने में ऑन द 10th डे ऑफ निशान और निशान के 10वें दिन एवरी फैमिली वुड चूज अ लैम हर एक परिवार एक मेहना चुनेगा एंड देन दे वुड ऑब्जर्व दैट लैम फॉर 3 डेज और फिर वो 3 दिन उसे जो एक परखेंगे एंड दे विल सी देयर इज एनी डिफेक्ट्स इन दैट लैम और अगर उसमें कोई कोट होगी एंड व्हेन व्हेन इट्स लैम इज परफेक्ट ऑन द 14th डे दे वुड क्रूसिफाई और अगर उसे दे तो 14वें दिन उसको बलि दे आफ्टर दे क्रूसिफाई दे अप्लाई द ब्लड ऑन द डोर पोस्ट और उस उसका खून जो है अपने दरवाजे पे लगाते थे एंड व्हेन द डेथ एंजल पास्ड बाय हुएवर हैज द ब्लड ऑन द डोर पोस्ट दैट हाउस विल बी सेव्ड और जिसके घर में भी वो खून होगा उसका घर जो है बच जाएगा ओके दिस हैज अ वेरी वंडरफुल एप्लीकेशन टू व्हाट जीसस डिड और ये बहुत अच्छा सिद्धांत है इसमें ओके व्हेन वी सी द कैलेंडर ऑफ जीसस क्राइस्ट कमिंग टू दिस अर्थ जब हम वो समय देखते जब यीशु आता है ओके जीसस सेड इफ यू ओनली न्यू दिस डे यीशु कहता है अगर आपको ये दिन पता होता जीसस वाज टॉकिंग अबाउट द prophecy that happened years back on the issues bhavishya ani ke baad mein bata raha hai we just read daniel chapter 9 we also read other other passages aur humne bhi daniel 9 aur vachan padhe but it's fascinating or if you see the calendar the exactly the day that jesus entered was also prophesied और जो यीशु जिस दिन यरूशलेम में गया वो उसकी भविष्या नहीं हुई सो ऑन द 10th डे ऑफ निसान वाज अ वेरी डे दैट जीसस केम ऑन द कोल्ट ऑन अ डोंकी टू द जेरूशलेम टू प्रेजेंट द वर्ल्ड दैट आई एम द लैम दैट विल बी क्रूसिफाइड जॉन 1:12 और निसान का दसवां दिन था जब यीशु मसीह उस जेरूशलेम में गया ताकि वो उसे पर इज इट फैसिनेट्स यू ऑन द वेरी डे व्हेन जीसस वॉक्ड ऑन अ संडे वाज अ वेरी डे that he was presenting himself is the lamb of the lord aur wahi ravivar tha jab yeshu gaya wo bata raha tha ki wo mehna hai is duniya and the next 3 days jesus was observed aur din din yeshu ko je parkha gaya he was observed by the pharisees and the jewish jewish people aur parisi aur yahudiyon ne parkha and they said they couldn't find any fault in him so they wrongly accused him they found judas aur unhone usse jo is par dosh lagaya and pilate said i didn't find any wrong in him aur pilatus ne kaha usme koi khot nahi hai judas said i have betrayed the innocent blood yehuda ne kaha maine ek nishpapi ko jo hai dhoka diya and on thursday night jesus has his last passover with the disciples aur gurudwar ko akhri jo hai jo prabhu bhoj tha usne kiya and on the 14th or on the 14th day of nisan they would crucify jesus christ aur 14th din jo hai uska crucify tha i want to think about a very fascinating today main chahta hu aap hi So that is the very day the millions of Jews would sacrifice the animals on one side aur wahi din tha jab yahudi log jo bali chadate the and one side 
the king of the Jews, the Messiah, is going to be sacrificed. And he's going to say, I am the king of the Jews. I am the most awaited Messiah. Okay, at the cross, there were only a few people. And at the crowd, there were huge crowds. And they were deceived with the lie. But at the cross Jesus died. And it's beautiful, not only that part, and then third day Jesus rose again from the grave that we celebrate the Easter. And this is the same week that happened. Can you show that the color picture? Okay, just okay, if you I don't know how much you could see, okay. If you see, remember Daniel chapter we just read 62 weeks plus seven weeks. Or uh, six, uh, or seven okay, that comes to uh, 69 weeks. Or 69 weeks. That comes to 483 years. Or 483 years. And you convert them into days, it comes to 1,73,880 days. And what did Daniel prophesy on that very day? The Messiah will be. Cut off. So when Jesus was at the Jerusalem riding on the cold, he wept over Jerusalem and he was telling your prophet Daniel has prophesied about me and this very day I am standing before you the Messiah and if you only knew this day and that's what happened this very day if you calculate if you, if you are studying of the prophecy you see this very day Jesus was crucified on Friday, on a good Friday. So according to the scriptures, he walked on the Palm Sunday, Daniel 9.25, exactly on the very Sunday that the, every Jew would select the Lamb. And then, on the exact as per the Daniel's prophecy, 1,73,880 days, exact on that day, Jesus entered the Jerusalem. And Jesus wept over Jerusalem. The peace would have come into your heart. A peace that is everlasting. But you rejected me. No other opportunity. And that's what God tells to this world. Somebody bought the peace into your home. Somebody bought a track to you. That's an opportunity. That is an opportunity of grace, right? If you reject it, it's gone. The opportunity is gone. It's not like Jesus is like Jesus is saying like you know, everybody has to perish. That means he would have not been right, he loved them. That's why he wept over them. But listen, in closing, I want to close with two applications for us. Matthew chapter 22, verse 29. Okay, Jesus said something fascinating. Now he said, let's read that verse just before we close. Are you with me today? And Jesus answered and said to them, he said to the Jews, Verse 29. You are mistaken for two reasons. Okay? You are mistaken for two reasons. You can translate me directly. Okay. Number one, not knowing the scriptures. Not knowing the scriptures. You never understood the scriptures. You are just reading like a good devotion book. It is just a, it's a head knowledge in your head. The problem with the Pharisees was they were very good in understanding all the laws. They were a four year bachelors of theology. How many? Bachelors of theology. But only head knowledge. It never went deep into their hearts. No transformation. But love Pastor Carl used to say something very powerful. It's better to read Bible five minutes and obey it 
और अच्छा है कि आप बाइबल पांच मिनट पढ़ो और उसका आज्ञा मानो टेंड टू रीड फाइव आवर्स एंड डोंट अबे ओबे इवन वन वन वर्ड ऑफ या उस या पांच घंटे पढ़ो और उसका पालन ना करो इट्स बेटर यू डोंट डू बाइबल कॉलेज एंड स्टिल ओबे गॉड और ठीक है क्या बाइबल कॉलेज मत करो लेकिन आप उसका आज्ञा मानो एंड मेनी ऑफ यू आर अमेजिंग मैन बिकॉज़ यू आर हियर टुडे और आप सब बहुत अद्भुत है इसलिए आप यहां पे यू लव द लॉर्ड राइट आप परमेश्वर से प्रेम करो यू हैव ओबिडियंस your obedience to church your obedience to, to giving to the church your obedience to the call of god and if our church ko aur dene mein jo by the way bible college doesn't make you any spiritual aur bible ka college aapko aatmik nahi banata and this is a serial coming out from me right aur ye meri taraf se aa raha hai it doesn't transform your heart agar wo aapke hriday ko nahi badle you are just a good pharisee with so all the knowledge aap sirf ek acche pharisee hai jisko sirf gyan hai no transformation but love me when i went to my first class in bible college at the chapel meeting pastor carl said this message aur jab main pehli baar bible college ke liye gaya aur pastor carl ne kaha he said after you finish four years if you are not more like jesus christ nothing went into your head agar char saal baad aap yeshu ki tarah nahi bane to aapke hriday mein kuch nahi hai if you are not more forgiving if you are not merciful you are not graceful nothing you have learned agar aapne anugrah nahi diya shama nahi ki to aapne kuch nahi sikha not knowing the scriptures vachan ko nahi jaanta remember these people they know the word but never transform their hearts ye logo ko wo vachan pata nahi they were saying we are looking for the messiah 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 and messiah is standing right in front of them wo keh rahe the hum messiah ko dekh rahe lekin messiah samne tha remember that joke we say we search everywhere but it's right there aur hum ko यू but you have no eyes to believe in me yeshu keh raha tha main tumhare samne hu lekin aapke paas aankhe nahi hai vishwas ki like pastor shibali i often says no i have been 30 years in the church 40 years in the church aur log kehte ki main 30 saal 40 saal church you been 30 years you done nothing like what else he says been nothing done nothing aapne raha hai lekin kuch nahi kiya like is amazing right paul said by this time you should be mature children of god you are still drinking little milk और उस कहता है आपको परिपक्व होना था लेकिन अभी भी आप दूध पी रहे हैं दूध बेबी दूध अमूल दूध यू शुड बी ग्रोइंग एंड मैच्योरिंग राइट आपको बाबा यू शुड बी वॉकिंग विद गॉड यू शुड बी ऑन फायर फॉर गॉड यू शुड बी एट द सोल विनिंग यू शुड डू एवरीवेयर वेयर यू आर आपको सब कुछ करना है सोल विनिंग आना होना चाहिए था लेकिन अभी कुछ आई एम नॉट आई एम नॉट पुटिंग अ ट्रिप ऑन एनीबॉडी आई एम जस्ट सेइंग लाइक नो व्हाट इज गॉन इनटू मी और क्या जा रहा है मेरे अंदर what is going on is it transforming my heart okay wo mere hriday ko badal raha hai jesus said not knowing the scriptures yeshu keh raha tha vachan ko the problem with you guys it's never got into it your heart aur wo aapke hriday mein nahi gaya and number 2 he said you neither understood the power of god aapne parmeshwar ke samarth ko bhi nahi samjha i am doing miracles a blind could see the dead could raise the leper could be healed and the, the lazarus is come out from the grave and you couldn't see the power of god in it i itne chamatkar kar raha hu lekin aapne us samajh nahi samjha somebody said what great miracle god has to do in your like a lot of people after miracles right aur bahut log chamatkar ko dekhte hain miracle 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 aur sirf chamatkar go look in your mirror and you are a miracle aap aaine mein dekhiye aap ek chamatkar ho is that true don't you never say i am a miracle पड़ोसी से कहो मैं चमत्कार हूँ लुक एट मी ट्वेंटी इयर्स बैक वेर आई एम टूडे राइट बीस साल पहले देखो और अभी मैं कहा हूँ ट्वेंटी इयर्स बैक एट द बीच आई वुड बी सिपिंग माई आइसक्रीम बीस साल पहले मैं बीच पर आइसक्रीम खा रहा हूँ नो बट टूडे आई एम सर्विंग द लॉर्ड लेकिन आज मैं सेवा कर रहा हूँ Six thousand demons were tormenting me in John chapter five. Today I am preaching in Decapolis, ten cities. Six thousand साल पहले छह हजार जो दुष्टात में परेशान कर रही थी आज मैं प्रचार कर रहा हूँ. I am preparing Ajay for the Kashmir. That's why I am preaching hard today. So you'll be ready for that. Okay. It's amazing, right? I am a miracle. और मैं चमत्कार. I am a miracle. I am a miracle. मैं चमत्कार. Great things God is doing. You didn't understand the power of God. Or that good things I have done. The same Jesus that raised up you is inside of you. Or who Jesus has raised up you is inside of you. Or who Jesus has raised up you is inside of you. Or who Jesus has raised up you is inside of you. Or who Jesus has raised up you is inside of you. Or who Jesus has raised up you is inside of you.
चंगाई थी वो सब कुछ कर सकता है क्या आपके पास विश्वास है You don't understand the power. आपको समझ नहीं पता उसे. That's what Jesus said to them. वही यीशु ने कहा. In close, think about that today. और सोचिए इसके बारे में. What is for me? God is teaching on a Hosanna day or a or a Palm Sunday. और परमिशन मुझे आज क्या सिखाएगा? You rather want to carry a palm and put a cross on your head? और ऐसा नहीं कि आप palm palm लेके घूमो और cross लगाओ. Okay, I am having a palm on a Palm Sunday. You know nothing. Only the palm, right? I know, I know. Good Catholics know what I'm talking about, right? Like I used to stay in Borivali, and they would have the palm on Palm Sunday. They are all with palms. On Palm Sunday, कितने लोग जो palm लेके जो घूमते हैं. But what it means? लेकिन उसका क्या मतलब है? You know the, you're not known the scriptures. आपको वचन नहीं पता. You're the palm of God. और उसके सामर्थ नहीं पता. God is teaching us to obey, simple obedience by faith. परमिशन सिखा रहा है कि हम आज्ञा माने. Just simple faith, right? It's God is not expecting you to just jump away from Pacific Ocean or something like that. Permission नहीं चाहता आप उस सागर में जो है. You know what God is saying? You read one verse. आपको एक वचन चाहिए. Just shall live by faith and I walk by faith. और विश्वास से चलना और मैं चल. That's all God is expecting us. यही चाहता है परमिशन. To walk by faith. Believe God for my children. Believe God for my family. Believe God for my job. Believe God for my business. Believe God for my missions. Believe God for my church. Believe God, believe God, believe God by faith. और हर एक चीज में परमिशन पर विश्वास करना है. That's what God expects us. और परमिशन ये चाहिए. He doesn't want us to be like those Pharisees who ignored what Christ did to them. वो नहीं चाहता कि हम परिसी की तरह बने जो नहीं जाने कि ईशु ने क्या किया. Right? Ah, beautiful. That's what Palm Sunday is all about, right? Palm Sunday ही है. We will talk about resurrection service next Sunday. और हम पुनरुत्थान के बारे में अगली रविवार को बताएंगे। Think about this thought today as you go back। और सोचिए इसके बारे में। Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to pray for Jacob and so Jacob। और अगर हम जेके को सुनते हैं। Can you come up here? Can you come up here? Okay. And also I want uh, like a couple of people to pray for us also। Okay. Maybe uh, maybe Deepika can come up। Okay. And later on, okay. Yes. Do you want to say something? Jacob, did you enjoy the service today? Yes. Okay, go ahead and say something. Sorry. Hello, everyone. Uh, first of all, like, I'd like to um, give a. Um, so, uh, the service is amazing, right? The, um, yeah, I'd like to. Um, I'd like to. <laughs> yeah, I like to, I like, I like to group, uh, glorify God. Uh, without Him, like all of you today, um, <laughs> so nervous right now. <laughs> yeah, so uh, thank you, man. No problem, Jacob. If you yeah, feel yeah, like yeah, yeah, it's yeah. fine. Okay, yeah. just, just, just enjoy. It. Okay, this is your family. Sorry, this guys. is your family. Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, so I just thank you for everyone to attend. Thank you so much. Okay. Let's all stand. Let's all stand. Okay. And uh, just for you, soldier. Okay, soldier is an amazing uh, woman of God. Okay, we had only a few months to know her, but uh, she has an amazing walk with God. And I also heard so much about Jacob, and I knew that he also loves the Lord tremendously. And when two people who love the Lord and they come together, they become a kingdom couple. And that's what we're going to see in this family, right? And uh, they both choose Christ before they choose each other. Okay, and today, and uh, they have made that decision to come together. And the few months that God has given us with them is amazing, right? 
and uh, they loved the church so much, you know, and uh, she always wanted to bless the church, right? And uh, so much of joy this, this uh, soldier has brought to among us. And thank you for also Dorothy for leading her yeah. to the Lord and you know, bringing her to the church, you know. And that's what happens, right? Like we bring somebody and then they come and their lives are transformed. Okay, so when even we, we pray for the future, we pray for the marriage, they are they already engaged, right? Yes, sir, he Yesterday, proposed, he, proposed, he bowed out before her and then gave the ring and, 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 and you know, you have, no problem, just, 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 okay, that's fine, okay, and uh, they will be going back to US in a couple of months, okay, but uh, she will always be in our hearts and we'll pray for her, okay, for both of them. Okay. I can be meeting online with you guys, you know, yes. that I meet with her, so she's yeah. watching them online and whenever yeah, she comes to India, her parents are all in Vasaya. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> she's a proper Vasai yeah, gown yeah. lady. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so so we will uh, yeah. okay, we will do that too. Okay, so let's let's uh, raise our hands and you know and just bless them today. Okay, I'll pray you all, all can agree for them, okay? Somebody can take some pictures also, no? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Lord, we just thank you for this beautiful, beautiful morning. Thank you for Jacob and Sojan, Lord. Thank you for their lives. Thank you for the choice that they made to follow you. And now they made a choice to be together, Father. I just pray today that you go before them. Like Moses said, if your presence doesn't go, I will don't want to take one step. Or I pray even in the marriage, they will see the presence of God in every moment, Father. I pray even few days is here in India. I pray that you give them a refreshing times, get to know Sojan more deeper way. And both of them will understand each other. Lord, I pray also for that big day of wedding that's going to happen in May or so. I pray that you would cover that whole wedding under your precious hands. I also pray that uh, you would uh, have be the center of this marriage. Lord, that the enemy would have no hold on this marriage, Father. We also pray that you give them great joy for each other. They great joy to serve you. They always follow you in their lives, Father. We also pray that they would honor you in everything that they do and keep you first in their lives, Father. We also pray that they will love each other as you love them, Father. And Lord, I pray that you continue to provide all the needs for them, all the details that needed for to happen this wedding, Father. We just pray. And also we pray for both the parents, both the sides, Father. We pray also for soldiers, parents, salvation, many people. Lord, I pray that that will happen also, Lord, in that time. We thank you. Thank you for bringing her to our church. Thank you for, Lord, those moments that we had. Lord, we thank you. Bless them and give them a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful years ahead together. We as a church agree together and bless them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen. and amen. amen. Thank you. So um, I'm, uh, my name is Jacob, so I'm from um, U.S., United States, USA. <laughs> yeah, so I live uh, my whole life um, in Washington. Um, and uh, so I was Christian ever since I was born. And my mom, she was Christian. She, I think she got saved uh, when she was like uh, 20, like mid-20s. So <laughs> my face is <laughs> so, yeah, um, so, um, so I was a Christian all my life, but then like, yeah, I was kind of like growing up, growing up, I was kind of like a little rebellious. So I'm sure that I see like you know, a lot of you know, young people here. Um, so I was like growing up um, rebellious, but then like, you know, like people think that like, you know, like if you're a Christian, they think that like you know everything you do is like um, it's like proper, you know, like follow uh, the gospel, you know, scriptures. Well, that's not true. So from my experience, that you know, but then like I'm a soldier, right? Up until I'm a soldier, I was like, um, you know, like I didn't I didn't really know like what I really want in my, in my life. So but right now I'm a soldier. And I'm like more drawn close to God, and um, I feel really blessed to uh, you know, have her because like sometimes like when I'm down spiritually, then she like she picks me up. Um, so um, yeah, so and also like um, I have one sister. She's a missionary in Bolivia, and then um, my mom like she always um, supporting me with prayer because without her, something without her, I'll be like where I am right now. But um, yeah, so you know like I appreciate you guys. Um, but I just want to share that like. You know, even though you're a Christian, even though you're a Christian, like sometimes we fall, but I think it's really important is that somebody who's right next to you, like family members or friends, you know, whatnot, you know, they're gonna help you to pick you up, 
but I think one thing, like last week, like last week, I like to say that you know, like you know, whichever situation you're in, like God never, never, uh, He's never gonna leave down, leave you. He always gonna be there for you. Um, yeah. So, um, but lastly, I like to share like one of the scriptures that I like, uh, Philippians four, chapter four. I have to give my thing God. <laughs> So he says, uh, be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, um, let your request be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through uh, Christ Jesus. Amen. So just, you know, like, um, whenever I go through hardship, I just, I just like, you know, um, look into scriptures. Um, and I experience that, like, God, like, you know, like every situation, every single situation, I go through hardship. God is touching your heart, but first, like you gotta see, you gotta really see. So He said that, like you know, knock it, you know, He's gonna open the door for you. Seek it, you know, He's gonna, He's gonna reveal. So yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's pretty much right now. I apologize that I'm so nervous right now, but it's so good to meet you guys. Yeah, thank you. Oh, that's amazing, right? <laughs> you are there for a couple of Sundays. One day you can preach. We love to have you preach. Thank you. But isn't that they make a good couple, right? Yes. Let's give them a big hand. Yes. Okay, they have a lunch packets for everybody, okay? Yeah, so yeah, Abhinash will be helping you if you can take Abhinash. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And also, just quickly, I want Deepika to come up, okay? And uh, and also for uh, Ajay, you come up, okay? James, you want to come and pray for us? Okay. Who else will pray, okay? Yes. Deepika and uh, one more lady. Pooja, why don't you come up? Okay, and just pray for us, right? Come on, Jimmy. Okay, we'll be traveling tonight. Okay, myself, Pastor Jomi, and also, you know, and uh, Ankita, come up. You also can pray for us, okay? Okay, and just pray for the trip, pray for the travel, pray for my back pain, okay? And keep it short, short prayer. And then, yeah, and I also want the church to pray for us. How many agree to pray for us? Let's take me a picture. Like, I want your prayers. I mean it, okay? I want you to pray every day for two minutes for us, okay? Can you do that? Yes, go ahead. <laughs> लोग जाने वाले प्रभु परमेश्वर आपका आत्मा प्रभु ने अगुवाई करे परमेश्वर आपका स्वर्ग दूत का सुरक्षा उनके ऊपर प्रभु उन सभी के ऊपर मांगते प्रभु परमेश्वर अच्छा अच्छे से प्रभु परमेश्वर पहुंचने के लिए प्रभु परमेश्वर और उन सभी लोगों का हेल्थ के लिए प्रभु खास करके पास्टर का प्रभु बैक पेन और प्रभु शरीर में जो भी प्रभु परमेश्वर उनको तकलीफ है प्रभु परमेश्वर आप उन्हें चंगाई दीजिए प्रभु परमेश्वर हील कीजिए प्रभु परमेश्वर कंप्लीट रीति से प्रभु और प्रभु सुरक्षित जाए प्रभु परमेश्वर जो भी वहां पे प्रभु प्रोग्राम हो प्रभु जो भी हो प्रभु परमेश्वर वो आपके प्रभु परमेश्वर अनुसार प्रभु आपके ज्ञान आपका बुद्धि आपका समझदारी के अनुसार हो प्रभु परमेश्वर आप उनके साथ रहिए प्रभु परमेश्वर पवित्र आत्मा उन्हें प्रभु गाइड कीजिए प्रभु उन सभी को प्रभु और सुरक्षित जाके प्रभु सुरक्षित आने के लिए प्रभु हम मांगते हैं प्रभु परमेश्वर धन्यवाद देते हैं प्रार्थना प्रभु ईश्वर से के नाम से करते हैं God loves people, that let your edge of protection be around them, Father. Let your kingdom grow, Father, through this mission, Father. We pray especially for Kashmir people, open up their hearts, Lord. Let your uh, Holy Spirit talk to them, Father, through this man of God. And let them open up their heart and receive you as a person, see you. Let your name be glorified, Father, through this mission, Father. And we ask for a special protection around uh, the believers for their and the Kashmir. God protect them for God, we thank you. We pray this prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord, we also pray for good health. Pastor, Lord, 
good help for agile you as the code you already has some project protection be about each one of them you know, give them good help you know, this is in the and also we pray for and prepare the hearts of people you know, to receive your word you know. let this go days be fruitful days you know, not just for us but even for the you know, Kashmir you know. pray and we give them protection be about each one of them you know. let them come back safe you know. Yeah. Now offering basket is passed. Okay, just put the offerings. Okay. Oh, sorry, I just.